Hey you guys, this is Janice Wilson Hughes and we're here in my Evolution Stoneware Pottery Studio for a quick tip on using a material that's called roofing felt or tar paper as a slab mat. Well, this is what roofing felt looks like. This is a thick, flexible, paper-like material that it has a coating on it that makes it water resistant. This is normally used under shingles as a moisture barrier on a roof, but you can get this very easily at home improvement stores and it's extremely affordable and very useful in the pottery studio. Several years ago, I did a video on using this same material to make bats for throwing on the wheel. So you can easily cut this with scissors, trace your bats, and cut out discs to use on the wheel. These are particularly helpful when you're making plates, platters, or anything with a very large surface area on the bottom of the pot because it's difficult to pull a wire under pots like that once they're done to separate them from the bat or from the wheel. So I have a video on that and I will link it. So look above for a pop-up, look at the end of the video to see if there's a link there. And if you still don't see it, check out the video description and I'll put a link there. One quick tip on that is if you use these, soak them in warm water before you use them on the wheel. For your slab mats, you don't need to soak these, just go ahead and use it. There are quite a few properties of this material that I think really make it great for working with clay. The surface is pretty smooth, so it won't get a lot of texture on your clay that you'll have to smooth out later. It's a water barrier, as I said, so you can wash this off completely in the sink, with a hose, with a wet sponge, and get all of your clay off of it when you're done working. So you don't have a bunch of residual clay dust, which is unhealthy to breathe. It also comes in big rolls. So when you buy this, it comes in rolls that are about 150 to 200 feet in length of the material. And the entire roll will cost about $15. So it's very affordable and you can cut out large pieces to work with. You could even lay it down on your entire table if you wanted to. It's super flexible so you can roll it up into a small tube like a poster and carry it with you wherever you need to go within your house, back and forth to the studio, around the studio, etc. You could cut two pieces and sandwich a large slab of clay in between and take it home with you to work on. And then you can roll this out on your table and protect your furniture at home if you don't have a work surface to work with your clay. This is also very durable. So you can cut clay on top of here without cutting through the paper. And you can reuse this many, many times. I encourage everyone, if you use this, to use it as much as possible before discarding it. Since there's so much on a roll, if you work in a group studio, you might want to go together with some people and share a roll. Just cut off what you need. I should also mention this comes in two weights generally, and I've always used the thinner weight. So while we're on the subject of DIY slab mats, cutting boards are a really great option too. A lot of us have cutting boards around the house, around the kitchen, and they're easily available. These thin ones work really nicely. They don't take up too much space and it's easy to peel a slab off of here. So another one. And I love these pastry mats. These are pretty awesome. Some of them even have some measurements on them. If that shows up on the camera. So these are all awesome. I really like them. These are super flexible, so you could roll this up too and not take up too much space if you need to carry it around with you. But the big limitation is obviously their size. They're just not that big. That's where the tar paper or roofing felt comes in really handy because you can cut out really big pieces of this if you need to. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope this tip helps you out. I want to send out well-being and wellness to everyone. Please take care of yourselves and be kind to those around you. 
I'm sending out love to everyone and I'm getting ready to work on a new series of project tutorials for you guys. So if you want to know when I post new videos, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.